it's snowing outside and I have to go to work and I am mad about it. We're supposed to get five to 10 centimeters of snow. Hello, welcome to Vlogmas. Day 18! Tell me how much more energy you have when you don't have to go to work. Well, I do still have to go to work today. No, but I meant like to deal with kitties. Yeah, I have training at 1 p.m. And it's 9.30 right now, 9, 9 o'clock, 9.24. It's 9.24 right now. Yeah, I need food, but we have to open our advent. Yeah. So we're gonna do that before breakfast. Day 18. It, it says, says it's very light. has a teacher, colleague, or friend inspired you? Let them know how much they make a difference and how much you appreciate them. Oh. Bread love, shared joy. Mm. I will never wear these. You can wear it to exercise. Interesting. <laughs> I think they're hair clips. They are hair clips. Hi, they're Daddy. Like, Say hi to the vlog. Like bobby pins. <laughs> it's our advent calendar. Have you not been here for the past uh, no. three days that we were supposed to have 24 no. days? But What you doing? Welcoming the trees. He's <laughs> shoes. What a strong man. <laughs> you know me, it's a bigger thing. I can't see, so you're gonna help me. Because I don't trust you if I do something wrong. What can you do wrong in cutting it? With you? Even you can't do this wrong. Cut the tree. See? See? Mommy. You cut the tree? Cut the tree. I trust you. I know. I'm never doing this again because someone will yell at me. You're going to yell at yourself? Wow. That is the most beautiful tree I've ever seen in this household this year. Well, you chose it update on our shenanigans my friend just texted me and said that at this one thrift store is one dollar for everything adult clothing we're going but it is 11 40 and i'm supposed to be at work at one o'clock so we're pushing it but we're text, doing it text your dad or Phil. hello hi we would like to know that if I drop Jay at Lime Ridge, the training goes till 4, if Penelope's coming before 30, will you potentially pick her up? Yeah. It might be done at 3, we don't know. Janine said 2 to 3 hours. Right. Because we have to, like, we're we're not even in upper gauge yet, and then I would have to get her home, and then get her, then she would have to get to Lime Ridge. So, yeah. cool. Thanks, Daddy. Okay, we'll figure it out between you and I. Yeah. Okay, cool, thank you. All right, bye. bye. So we went thrifting. We got 16 items and now we're back home. And guess who I'm taking thrifting? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> he refuses to ever go anywhere with me. So this is a very exciting day. Just don't go anywhere. How do you feel? I don't know what you're excited. You're excited I'm so this. excited. <laughs> oh, hi. Went thrifting and Curtis got three shirts. Can you talk to them? Why am I the only one talking? I'm video. trying to drive. Yeah, but I'm driving. So? Update them. Well, you gotta be able to, to do both. It is snowing. Like, you call yourself a vlogger and you can't even drive and do you vlog? vlog? Like, come on. Because um, it's called being a safe driver and not, this is, wow, and not being distracted. So update them on what you got. We went through it. It's the first time I've really gone through a thing. So it took a little bit to get into it. I'm so excited. I got two shirts. Two shirts. Two shirts and a two sweater. Two shirts. Did we, do we did do the sweater, yeah. yeah. Two shirts and a sweater. And? And the entire Aragon series. I'm gonna get him, get him to so read maybe, her. Maybe we'll actually read. I'm so excited. Maybe we won't. And you got? I got 13 <laughs> articles of clothing and four books? No, it was more than four. I think it was only four. Four books? I think Two teens and two. Regular. I thought I saw five or six. No. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm sure I want to. You go to. book crazy, so. I do. I do. But now we're going to another thrift store, and guess who suggested it? That guy. I didn't even suggest it, and he said, 
you want to go to Tilly's really quick? And I said, oh, fuck yeah, I do. So now we're going. Now we're going. Now we're going. I'm so excited. And it's only 4.45, so we got till 9. We got 10. We're going to go till 9. We're not going till 9, but it might take us till 9 in this traffic. That's true. That is accurate. Did mom just text me? I don't know. Didn't see anything. Oh, man, there's something. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Got it on my walk. Ma'am, should I do it? Do you... Hello? Try it. Try it. Hello? Try it. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so update on the whole work situation because I never actually really told you what went down. Basically, I showed up at the training for the vaccine clinics and I was like already panicking because I have a needle phobia and I was just freaking out. And so they were telling us that we were going to be shadowing people from the clinic because we would have to be working there all week. And so the guy who I was like signing up with, because my name wasn't even on the list that I was supposed to be there. So I said to him and like my eyes are like starting to tear up and like when I'm panicking, my voice gets really high so I was like um so I was just wondering what like shadowing means like am I gonna have to be anywhere near the needles because I have a phobia and I'm already freaking out and I'm not even near them yet so I just really need to know like what's happening and if I'm gonna have to see the needles because I am just like I'm not okay right now and like I was so anxious and he's just like okay and I'm just like yeah so I'm just gonna need you to tell me exactly what's happening and if I'm gonna have to be anywhere near the needles or is there like a spot where I can like be nowhere close to the needles like can I greet people and say hi to them and that's like my role because I can't do this so he was like well don't look over there or over there or over there or over there and I was just like oh no I've already seen them all like I'm freaking out I can't I can't be here and then the lady had said we've already made the schedules and you're scheduled in pretty much every day for um like an eight hour shift or six hour shift or something and I was like um I work for four hours for the city. I have another job from like Monday to Friday full time. So I, I, I can't really call them and say, no, I'm not going to my other job. And she was like, what, you guys aren't full time? And I was like, no, again, I work four hours on Sundays. So, and she was like, oh. So then she wrote down all our availability and stuff, but then they sent out our schedules and I'm scheduled in from 7 a.m. to 2.30 on Sunday, Monday, Thursday, and Friday. And I'm like, no. And they sent me home after I. I was there for like 10 minutes because I was just like freaking out. I didn't even get trained and then they still scheduled me in for those days. So I was like, okay. So I emailed the supervisor people because it says if you can't attend, please email these two emails. So I did. I was like, hey, like, sorry, I, I'm not gonna be able to attend because I was sent home after being at training for 10 minutes for these three reasons. And I said that I have the full-time job Monday to Friday. I work four hours on a Sunday and I was visibly panicking because I have a needle phobia. So like, I'm not coming. And like, they obviously haven't replied to me because it's six o'clock at night, but I'm supposed to be there at 7 a.m. tomorrow and I'm not going because I'm just gonna, I'm gonna panic. I can't, and I'm not trained. So like, <laughs> so the training was supposed to be like one to three or one to four. They never actually told us how long it was, but I was out of there by like 115, 120. So like, so then mom and I went to Bath and Body Works because I was still panicking. So she needed to distract me. So we bought candles because it was a sale for buy two, get two free. So we each bought one and then we each got one free. That was our thinking for that. So the one that I got is cinnamon stick and it's so good like i just oh the smell of cinnamon is like one of my favorite smells in the entire world and then the other one i got was give warmth which is marble chocolate cupcake but it is so good i love it so much mom got toasted hazelnut praline and give peace which is mahogany vanilla and then we decided to go to tender tootsies which is like a boot store because they're having this massive sale and my combat boots that i have are like breaking down and i can't wear them anymore because they just hurt my feet like way too much so i bought new ones and they're really cute they're a lot shorter than my other ones because my other ones are like actual combat boots so they come up to like my calf i don't know where what what, what what would here be that's where they come up to so these ones only come up to my ankles but they didn't have my size in the ones that i normally get and this weekend is a sale for it so these are originally 109 dollars, and we got them for 89 dollars. but i only got them for like 50 dollars because i had two the prepaid visas from christmas time last year so i'm just giving my mom those so really they only cost me like 53 dollars instead of 109 so i mean i'll take them and they're cute and they're really warm and I have to be outside with the kids all the time. So now I have warm boots that will actually keep my feet warm instead of freezing 
for fashion. And then you guys saw that I brought my brother thrifting. I was so surprised that he actually came with me and I was like so excited because he does not like to leave the house and the fact that he actually came one out of the house and two thrifting with me is like a huge deal. So I was really excited and the fact that he bought books is amazing but I also picked up some books so I figured I would share them with you guys. The first one I got was Sewing. I've read one of their books but it was like a graphic novel by them but I enjoyed it and it was based off of a book that they wrote the graphic version of that book but this is another one by them. All of the books were two dollars so I was like <laughs> I need them. And then I also picked up Magnus Chase book one because I'm reading the Percy Jackson series right now and I'm actually really liking it so I figured I would just move on to Magnus Chase once I finished that one. And then I also got Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky by Kwame Mbal Mbalia, Mbalia but I think that this is similar to Magnus Chase or something I don't know but I, I liked that he had a hammer in his hand because it reminded me of Thor. This one was only 150 so I was like hardcover 150 yes please. And then I found a book that I'm actually really excited about but I've heard such mixed reviews on it so I didn't want to pay full price for it obviously so I found it for two dollars. It's The Maidens by Alex Michelandis, Michelades, whatever but I'm actually really excited about this one because like I said everybody's been having like super mixed opinions about it and I just really want to know what my opinion is so picked it up for two dollars I'm here for it those four are from the first thrift store that we went to and then he said hey can we go to Talese which is like another thrift store and I was like you don't have to ask me twice yeah we can go to Talese so I picked up that dog shirt that I showed you guys the one with the Santa Claus hats because like hello I'm obsessed I had to and then I also picked up four other books there so oh I didn't even know I picked this up, but apparently I did. This is from the first thrift store and I don't even know what it's about. A magical rainforest. I don't even remember picking this up. I think I had it in my hand and then I started talking to my brother and then I guess it just ended up in my cart instead, but it's a magical rainforest, so I'm not mad about it. I think it's probably like a middle grade. Yeah, also The Lost Rainforest Mezes Magic by Elliot Sheffer. I only got three from the second thrift store. The first two are part of the same series that I have the books one, two, and three. So I got books of four and five. They're the Escape from the Furnace books so four five and i have not read books one to three they had the whole series there so they had books one to five and i was like, trying desperately to remember if i had books one two and three or if i just had book one or just book two or what i had but turns out i was right and i bought the correct ones i have one two three so the memory on my head is real good but like I said I haven't even read them I just know that I own them so I wanted to complete the series and then the last one that I got is a Lisa Jewell book because I just really like her writing I've read three of her books and I've loved every single one of them so this is the girls in the garden no idea what it's about solely bought it because Lisa Jewell so yeah I spent way too much money today but I feel less panicky so that's what really matters okay so open <laughs> that's like a scrub i know that's a scrub it's, from, it's even got pockets <laughs> like a scrub it was and, it's from the the working thing but curtis you bought a whole garbage bag i know but listen we went to talese because curtis goes can we go to talese and i was he like went, yes we can it? did you go to value village too no just talese wow but we go to talese and then he sees it and he goes you need to get it and i was like what he goes get it get it right now well i'm not gonna wear it he goes get it i'm like okay You're not